Phew! Rahul could not hold his breath anymore. He felt like his lungs were filled beyond its capacity and it could not take any more air. Does that happen? Do the lungs really have a capacity? Let's see. Breathing means inhalation and exhalation of air. The air that we breathe moves from the nose through the respiratory tract and to the lungs where the exchange of gases is carried out by the alveoli. Imagine a situation when we are normally sitting and working or watching television. The volume of air that is taken in and released during this time is called the tidal volume which is approximately 500 ml. Around 150 ml of this air is always left behind in the respiratory tract known as dead air space and the remaining 350 ml of the air reaches the alveoli for exchange of gases known as alveolar air. Now take a deep breath. Here we are applying additional force to draw extra air in the lungs. Inhalation in which extra air is forcefully inhaled is called inspiratory reserve volume which is 3000 ml. The maximum air that can be forcefully inhaled above the tidal volume is called inspiratory capacity which is 3500 ml. The maximum amount of air that can be forcefully exhaled out is 1000 ml and is called the expiratory reserve volume. This is much lesser than the inspiratory capacity. Even if one tries to exhale all the air from the lungs, around 1500 ml of air is left behind in the lungs and it is called the residual volume. Thus, the maximum capacity of the lungs to inhale and exhale is called the vital capacity of the lungs which is 4500 ml. Both the lungs can hold a maximum of 6000 ml of air which is called the total capacity of the lungs. Our lungs function incredibly well. I wonder if I can breathe around 6000 ml of air.